How are we all doing? Well, this is a bit of a recap video for the past 20 episodes. I wanna share with you some of my best moments, some of the changes that are gonna to come to the channel, but also some of the new episodes and a sneak peek of those. Now, these episodes take a long time for me to film. I'm traveling all over the country. So as much as I'd like to constantly churn them out, it's not that simple. So there's gonna be a bit of a break I'm hoping to get new episodes out later this year, but I'm gonna be spending the summer going all over the UK and abroad. I've got some very exciting plans of places to film and catch fish. So that will be coming out later this year. In the meantime, there'll be all the usual content that you'd expect on the channel, lots of fishy and wildlife stuff. Before I get into that though, I wanna share some of the best moments of the last 20 episodes. I've never been bothered about catching big fish. And to be honest, I don't even weigh what I catch. It's always been about the surroundings, the wildlife, and the different species of fish I can see. I could have gone to other venues and had a dozen fish out by now, but this was a beautiful spot to fish. Had an estate who run this river stopped stocking fish a few years ago, and the fishing has improved remarkably. As I headed upstream, I spotted a small trout in the flow, and gingerly snuck up on it and attempted a cast. And to my delight, it took the fly. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, that was a bit slap bang wallop, but I have caught a wild brown trout. It's not the biggest but it may be the prettiest. So I'm gonna very quickly get it out. It's a warm day. I don't wanna keep it out of the water for long. So I'm gonna to have to show you very quickly and it's going straight back. Right. Oh, still lively, that's good. There it is. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning, fantastic red spots. Classic of a laugh kill brown trout. Yeah, let's get it back. <laughs> I hadn't had a nibble for a while, so I decided to change my bait when I felt some weight on the end, but not fighting like anything I'd caught before. I thought I must have been snagged, but then lifted in this. Yeah, yeah, two, three, three, four, uh, what the fuck is that? That's a crawfish. Holy shit. Whoa, 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 crawfish. Don't, 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 don't knock it off. Not too many of them. Don't play it. Oh, oh, fucking hell. Oh, fucking dancer. Yeah, but it's not a lobster, is it? Oh, oh that's, that's, that's one. That's a... Wow. Jeez. What a fucking chance. Is that the first one? I've seen them before in the creels, but they don't get in. I've had two or three stuck in the eye because they're bony. What a fucking fish. Just grab it. Let's have a look. Oh, oh, stunning, isn't it? Be, ca be careful with its... Um, with your barrel. Oh, yeah. God, yeah, yeah. You can go like that and you'll Jesus. ruin your day. And also your um, okay. their antennae are really sharp. They'll rub them up and down your arms. Oh, that That's fun. cool, isn't yeah. it? Well, not exactly what we're after, but still pretty rare. Crawfish. That'll do. <laughs> but not, no, I'm not going to hold it near the edge. <laughs> For those of you that were worried, it didn't get eaten. I wouldn't even know where to start with something like this. And to be honest, it was so impressive, I was happy for it to not end up in the pot. Not wanting to be outdone on the crustacean front, one of the other guys on the boat also caught a langoustine. The fish then started to wake up, with dogfish being caught, but not the right kind. I know a lot of sea anglers really don't like lesser spotted dogfish, or small spotted cat shark, depending on which you prefer, but as a predominant coarse angler, I really like the novelty of catching them. The tip of the rod bounced and I started winding in. With such depths, it takes a while to get the fish up and I assumed it was just another normal dogfish, but I managed to get one of my target species, the black mouth dogfish. So that is a black mouth dogfish. Not the biggest one, but pretty unusual. See the green eyes on it? Awesome. Another species ticked off. I ended up catching three, and then one of the weirdest fish I've ever seen. The eyes are bright green. 
Sharks don't get affected by being brought up from deep water like many other fish, as they lack a swim bladder, instead having a dense oily liver which helps them keep at the right depths. That is a hell of a brown trout. Absolutely thick as anything. So come to the Derbyshire Derwent and do grayling fishing and end up with that beast. I'm, I'm guessing six pounds, I, I don't know. I'm not very good with fish weights. It's heavy, fort light -like stink. Let's get it back. It's amazing how a fish can lift your spirits. And as pristine as that brownie was, it wasn't the target fish. Jonathan McGee, the cameraman for this episode, had a long drive back to Yorkshire, so we agreed one more cast, and the float went under. If you turned it into a grayling, it would be great. It's smaller anyway, so... It might be a while, isn't it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. No, it's a Hey, I don't, I don't know, if the, I don't think that is a brownie. I think that's a nice grayling. It's wiry. I think this might actually be a grayling. Oh, don't, I'm going to shit myself. Oh, I don't know, I've given up. Oh, I'm not sure. It's a, it's, a, it's a bit of a little one. Small fish, but... What the fuck was that? That's a bloody what's cormorant. Cormorant. Is that a cormorant? Is that a cormorant? It is a cormorant, yeah. Well, that might it's be. a grayling! Yeah, I think it it's might a grayling! Be. I think it might well be, isn't it? Oh my god! Oh shit, I'm in the fucking trees, right? Come on. Just stay away. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get it, get it, get it, get it! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances? Oh, that is ridiculous. Last knock ins. Last knock ins. Oh my god. It's not the biggest grayling, but it's definitely one of the most rewarding I've ever caught. For me, my favorite episode was the grayling one. We were able to catch a beautiful fish at the end of the day, right at the last minute. The cinematography was fantastic in that one, but it didn't do very well on views, and that's how it goes. The videos that you think are gonna do well, never do well, and the videos that you just kind of flop out and rush out, they seem to do the best, so what are you gonna do? Now, a few people have mentioned about some sort of tally so that people can keep up to date with what species I've caught, where and when, etc. So going forward, I am going to be putting a tally at the end of each episode and it will look something like this. Okay, so here's the tally. Essentially, it goes like this. If it's in green, it means that I physically caught the species on rod and line, whether that's fly, sea or coarse. If I've caught it on rod and line, it's green. If it's yellow, that means I've only seen the fish. This could be that I've been with another angler and they've caught the fish, but I haven't. It might be that the species is protected and I'm not allowed to catch it on rod and line, like in the case of things like seahorses. Or it might be that the species is just not possible to catch on rod and line. For example, things like lamprey, they don't take a bait so you would never catch one. But I don't want to leave any fish species out, so that's what the yellow scene means. And then red for netted is basically if I've gone along with a little tiddler net and I've scooped it up. That's not to say that some of these can't change. It might be that I scoop up a bullhead in one video, then I hook one in a later video. So it could change down the line. And then I'll add species at the end of each vid. Now my own personal record for the UK is something like 73 species, I think. So I'm not far off the 100, but obviously I haven't got 73 species on camera. I think so far I've caught something like 50 odd. On that, rod and line's a little bit less than that. Obviously, I kind of fudge the numbers because I don't just do rod and line. I do if I've seen the fish, caught the fish, netted the fish. So it's a little bit skewed. But I would personally like to get to 100 different species on rod and line. I think that would be absolutely incredible. Now, because of the way that I do these videos, they're all done way, way in advance. Sometimes I film videos like a year before they even come out on the channel. But I want to give you a sneak peek of some of the videos I've already done. I've got loads more planned that will be coming out later in the year. So I'm going to give you a little look into that in a second. What I'd love to do is to do this weekly. The trouble is at the minute, I don't make enough money from YouTube to justify me spending the time doing weekly vlogs, if that makes sense. It's because I'm you know, too busy doing camera work and other bits and bobs. But who knows, in the future, if that sort of shifts, then I might try and look into YouTube as a more permanent thing. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, here's a sneak peek into some upcoming vids.
I just want to say a huge thank you for the support for everyone who's been watching these videos. The feedback's been fantastic. People have been really seem to enjoy them. I've tried to do something a little bit different. These videos, they're not about catching the biggest fish. They're not about catching the most fish. It's about variety. It's not even how to fish. If you want to learn how to fish, don't watch my videos. I'm not the person to teach you. But if you want to learn about the fish themselves, then I'm hoping that people will get a little something out of it. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. This is a kind of slightly different film going through different bits and bobs. In the meantime, for the rest of the summer, there'll be the usual wildlife content. I'll be sprinkling wildlife vlogs here and there. I do need to do something with this fish tank behind me. I did say I was going to do a pike at some point, so I'm going to try and get a baby pike this year to put in that fish tank. So we'll see how it all goes. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next vid. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this vid, why not check out this other video right here? If you can, please subscribe to the channel. It only takes a couple of seconds and it really helps me out. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.